It might be the best banana pudding I ever ate, man. I don't know. I don't know. Greetings and salutations, good people. My name is Otis James Bush Jr. This is OJB Cooking. Banana pudding. I love banana pudding. Well, specifically, homemade banana pudding. You know what I mean? From Scrizz Hatch. So today, I figured I'd hook some up. Now, instead of baking this, I'm gonna assemble this in mason jars and let it chill overnight so we can get acquainted. You feel me? So, what we gonna need? Got some vanilla waffles, of course. You feel me? Got some chestnut cookies as well, just for decoration you need. Got some vanilla extract, some sweetened condensed milk, got sugar, got some butter, got some whole milk, got some cornstarch, and we got some bananas, of course. I forgot to say eggs. So, eggs. Six of them, to be specific. Six yolks, indeed. Eggs. And that's it, man. We'll take all of this, hook it on up. Come on with me. All right, good people. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right, today we're going to hook up some good old banana pudding for your hair top. We're going to go ahead and start off getting these yolks together. I'm using six egg yolks. I'm using five and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. And I'm using four cups of milk in total. But I'm going to be adding those in as we go along, as you will see. And I'm just adding a little bit of milk. Whisp it up. You know what I mean? Trying to get my cornstarch blended. I don't want no lumps. So I'm going to start off with just a little bit of milk. Whisping it up. Get your, let your wrist know. And then we're going to add the rest of our cornstarch. A little bit more milk. Give her some whisk. Repeat the process. Just like that. Just like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep mixing. Keep mixing. You know, what you're looking for is just to make sure you get a nice smooth mixture. You know what I mean? We'll go ahead and add another cup of milk. Right, now we're going to bring in our egg yolks. And you want to go ahead and uh, whisk those up, break them up real nice. And they'll pour into your mixture very easily. Get your rubber spatula, don't leave nothing behind. And then you just want to whisk that on up together. Now you could, you know, just dump all this into a bowl, but it's very hard to get a proper mixture if you do it that way. So I highly suggest you do it in pieces just like this. We're going to add another cup of milk, as you can see. And go and whisk that up some more. And now we in the game. We'll pour that in our pan just like so. And we can go add on some uh, sweetened condensed milk. I did about a fourth of a cup. You can do a fourth of a cup to a half a cup, just depending on how you want the flavor profile to be. I went ahead and went with a fourth of a cup. And we just gonna whisk that in as well. Probably should be using a uh, stainless steel pot as opposed to uh, a non-stick pan, but Got to step a pot game up, you know what I'm saying? And we adding in a cup and a half of sugar here. And then we just gonna get at a good old stir. And we got the heat on a nice medium low heat. Uh, you don't want to bring this to a boil like super fast. You want to bring the heat up nice and slow like Ursha. You know what I'm saying? And as you, you know, continue to whisk, and you know, your heat is increasing and it's coming to a boil, you'll start to feel it thicken up. You'll literally feel that it's a little bit harder to move your whisk around in the mixture. Go on, like, comment, subscribe if y'all don't mind. I appreciate you, help your boy out, you know what I'm saying? And as you can see, it is visibly different at this point. You know what I mean? You're getting much more viscous. Yeah, and that's about the thickness we're looking for. We'll go ahead and add our vanilla extract. I did two and a half tablespoons. And as always, I had a measurements on down in the description box. And then you just want to whisk that in. You know what I'm saying? Let your wrist go. And then we'll give it one last stir with our rubber spatula. A little bit more milk, because I didn't like how thick that was getting. Just a, just a turch. But you know, up to you, you know. But you just got to keep in mind that as it cools, it's going to thicken more, because this is in a pot and it's actually super hot. So you just want to keep that in mind. Now I'm trans transferring this over to a standard mixer. If you don't have a standard mixer, no worries. You can use a regular mixer or you can just keep whisking by hand. But I would suggest removing it from the pot and that way you can whisk it, you know, very vigorously without damaging any kind of, uh, you know, cooking way that you have. But if you do have a standard mixer and you just want to walk away from this, you can throw it in the standard mixer, throw it on like speed setting, like maybe one or two and then just walk away. You know what I'm saying? Just walk away and you let that go for about 20 minutes and two things are happening. It's smoothing it out real good 
and it's cooling it off. So as we add it to the jaws and everything, you know, it's not too hot. As you can see, we are hooking up our layers. Started out with a layer of vanilla wafers, and then we're gonna add a layer of pudding, you feel me? We're gonna throw in some crushed up vanilla wafers. You know what I'm saying? And then we're gonna throw in some more pudding, you feel me? Layers, you want layers in this thing. We're throwing some good old bananas. Now, I'm not a huge fan of bananas, so we did just one layer of bananas. Be honest with you, if it was socially acceptable, I probably just would have did cookies and pudding. You know what I'm saying? Just, just straight up cookies and good old, good old pudding, man. Right? But we gonna add the bananas for authenticity. Plus, it looks good. Throwing in some old crushed up vanilla wafers. Another layer of banana pudding. You know what I'm saying? Coming together, boy. And then we go throw in so vanilla wafers to just crown off the top. This is all about aesthetics at this point. I'm gonna be honest with you, just wanted to make them look good. And then we'll come back through with the piping bag with some good old whipped cream. Now you can use the whipped cream in the can, but I find that the whipped cream in the tub is much more smooth. You can whip it up and make it look like this, you feel me? And then we add a little cookie crumble, you know what I'm saying? Just, just a turch, just for the aesthetics. And then a, a single chestnut cookie, you know what I mean? Just so you know what time it is, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we in the game, baby. Yeah, look how beautiful that is, boy. That is an amazing dessert. A, a delicious treat, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, look at the layers. Look at the layers. Look at all, look, look, look at the skill, man. You know? And I know you want a bite. I know you want a bite. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And you can hook this up at the crib with this very simple video. You know what I'm saying? Peace. All right, good people, moment of truth. Time to test it out, see what it do. Oh, yeah. It might be the best banana pudding I ever ate, man. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, man. This might be the best banana pudding I ever ate. I don't even know what to say. It's good, man. It's so good. We're gonna do one more bite for the road. Several bites for the road. <laughs>